Okay, that's soldered. Fantastic. There is very little chance that I will mess up the order of things if we only have an hour. So without further ado, but who's, who's that, needed? That, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> yes, because obviously if I'm if I'm not needed, then you can play for more than an hour. Yes, but uh, we'll get to that in a second because we we need to see what exactly happens, right? So let's not like mess around anymore. Let some someone do a recap of what happened last time. Who's messing? You're stalling. Let's go. Fuck I'm, the I'm, recap. I'm, I'm not stalling. I'm trying to fuck the recap. Let's ah, it's, it's important that we know what happened last time, or at least that Bird I know died. what you think happened Bird last time. Died, we ran east. Bird Bird died, is we evil. Alright, that, that's what happened. Bird died, we ran east. Like, the bird chased, uh, I mean, the demon chased the bird, and then the bird died, and we're running east. Well, he's dead, chicken. Nothing oh, more shit. going on, we're running. I think we ran shadows. into the demons and not away from them. I mean, he ran away from the demons or whatever after... Yes, so like party. Technically, both. Party. Uh, party which means everyone but Hubert. First question is, um, so you've spent the next, like, hour and a half, however long you had, uh, of the day going further down the road north. And now you're kind of, like, at your usual capacity for travel, and you're kind of getting tired. It's a global exhaustion thing. The question is, what do you do now? Look around? You know, for demons? Are we still being followed? Well, no, you haven't seen any following behind you for a long time. Like, ever since those, like, uh, vulture demons turned away and chased after uh, Hugh Bird, you haven't seen uh, any demons. But how hard have we really looked? I don't know, what's your passive perception? Jeez. Uh... I mean, if we're at the range where we can actually see physical demons, then I think it's a bit like, you know, too late. <laughs> yeah, you're in a forest. If they're this oh, close, dude. it's probably encounter time. No, I mean, if we can't see them, then we still have a chance of running away. I mean, we could see the other one and we managed to run away. Yeah, but they were high up. Regardless, you don't see any demons, you don't hear any demons. You smell largely body odor and hash, but that's secondary. Sweet. Salty, actually. And bitter. Eat more pineapple. Alright, sleep time. Do we just collapse here, at this spot in the forest, and sleep? Uh... I mean, where we on the map? Uh, right? I mean, there's something about taking watches and being sad about losing a friend. I mean, like, this forest, right? It's like, is, is it actually a thick forest or is it just like, you know, open terrain, essentially? Like, doesn't matter if you camp here or camp, like, you know, half hour to the side. Like, is it any difference, really? Which well, yes, yeah, you're, say... you're kind of in, in this, in what used to be a normal road, but right now it's just like a space without dead, dead trees blocking the way so you can travel relatively straight just all right so can we find somewhere with cover um, give me a survival check if you're if if you're looking for a place i'll give you one yes okay so 16. so what exactly are you looking for in your camp cover okay as many <laughs> as much of cover as possible on all sides Hmm. Okay, Basically, so we have a 16. The ground, um, okay, so let's say you build, enter the whatever. forest, right? And right. Uh, mm, yeah, you, you you don't want to spend too much time because it's getting dark, right? So you don't uh, you settle for the first relatively defensible place that you find. You find um, like this like small concentration of rocks. Um, yeah, a small rocky area, like, deeper in the forest, uh, and you, like, camp, uh, the break camp there in the, in, in the midst of all the tree, of the, of the, the trees there. Um, so the area is kind of compact, and from one side you have this, like, like 20, 20 to 30 foot tall rock face that's covering your side and giving you a bit of an overview if you climb it. Sounds good. Oh, can we climb it? That's a good idea. I mean, yeah. Particularly when there's no pressure, no no pressure on you, right? 
It's like sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna climb it then. It's it's um, on even to say the least, right? It's uh, literally just like a cliff rock, cliff rock formation in the forest. So you can't really deploy yourselves there, but you can like stand watch up there. No, yeah, I just wanna see stand watch and see what I see from up there. Well, you're slightly higher, but the brambles like you see a forest. You see a forest, a forest of dead brambles just uh, spanning in every direction. It's rap it's quickly falling dark now, so your vision is like quite badly hampered here. And you don't really see anything, it's just dead nature everywhere around. Well, I'm gonna take first watch and just sit on top of the rock. Okay, so there's four of you left. Any any plans for second and third? Yeah, I'll, I'll go and sit up on the rock with him. One I mean, you can, but three. someone else has to take all their watches. Yeah, I'll take a second watch, whatever. Oh shit, is this like a night watch? Yeah, there's yes. three yes. watches. We're there's three sleeping. watches. And there's five of you, so figure out your splits. I'll, I'll sleep and give the watch a miss. Okay, so... Thanks. Sure, the ladies take the last watch. Fine. That was kind of the tradition the past few days. Uh, what? No. Mm -hmm. No, yesterday it was 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, yes, but now there's... You're Five one person yes, down know, and one person's miss not You said the last watch. few days, that's not... I'm, I'm the, sorry. The, that's no, just... I mean the last few days, Laura and Alina were doing the third watch. So, uh, since it's so what's time, changed? It... They're still doing the third watch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they that were happens. yesterday, but okay. Alright, so, That's my yeah, point. We, we, we sleep. Yeah. Yes, right. sleep. Oh, uh, this is probably worth bringing up. So, Maelstrom, um, you've had this thing for at least the beginning of your journey, where you would spend, like, some time each camp. Um, just like talking with Alena, trying to get a grasp on Elvish, but yes. you know, since for the last couple of days, um, ever since a particular tree got burned down. Yeah, I haven't really, you know, approached her because she, she yeah. just doesn't seem very happy about us. Yeah, she's no. been keeping pretty much all the time silent, off to the side, not mm -hmm. really interacting with any of you. Not that language was quite helpful before, but even more so now that she, she's like completely detached herself from the party other than you know she still like conjures up the, the like the food berries that uh, make your stomachs rumble but keep your bodies healthy aside from that she doesn't really interact with you like not one bit yeah look i haven't found the proper opportunity to mend bridges yet uh, speaking of which um so there's good berries, right? Everyone eats one, and you're left with five, and each of them restores one hit point. So if you want some hit point restoration, uh, well, you can figure out five hit points are left. Uh, I'm <laughs> missing one hit point, so I'll take one. Oh, I'm missing ten as far as I can tell, so... I mean, technically, if nothing happens during the night, we are fine anyway, and just in right, case. Right, so he takes one, we take two each. Well, surely after a rest, my hit points restore anyway. Yes, yes, but if something happens things, yeah. during the night, like demons, you won't hit points. Right, right, right. You know. Next one, we take two each. Yes. GG. Done. Okay. Have yes, I yeah. just taken two berries? Then? Yeah, you, you, this restores two health to you. Okay. I should probably restore their health as well. Um, okay. So, uh, you, fall as you fall asleep or get to watch in. And um body. What's Shiba doing all of this? Yeah, body, are you still with us? Do you need me? No Maybe. I don't listen to him. Um where's my thing? What the fuck? Ah, um yes. Uh so uh you pass out from demon claws and beaks like tearing into your flesh, right? Um What's what do what does what does Hubert see like on death's door? Is there anything or is it just like blackness of empty void or do you like see your like god or like faint memories swing by whatever? What what is it? What what do we what would body what would Hubert see? Is he a beautiful maelstrom? <laughs> <laughs> 
or the hugs that we shared together. <clears throat> I need to give this image some time to sink in. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, so Hubert, um, some time has passed, and you are you are woken up by the feeling of like wind on your head, face. Uh, you kind of groggily open your eyes. The world is like a little. Do I still blurry. have eyes? Uh, it just so happens that yes, you do. Amazing. Um, you have a bit less blood, but that's that's a secondary problem. Um, you see that you are like you, you're like not entirely sure what's going on at first. It, it you're very disoriented, but eventually you like get a grip on yourself and you see that you're being you're flying through the air. You try to move. You realize you're unable and kind of look around closer and you see like one of those rock the the, the, the vulture the, the demons one of the demons like holding you like. You know, a, a hawk would hold like a prey mouse, right? And the, the and it's it and its companion are flying you back towards, uh, towards like the the ruins of the in the stalwart flagon, and um, you're actually on approach right now. You're like lowering down onto the ground, um, trying to wriggle yourself free, but no, they're they're hold they're holding you tight. Why they're would still... I wriggle? I don't know. I wouldn't S test your boundaries. No. Okay. Sure. Regardless, uh, they bring you down, and um, once you get <clears throat> once you get close enough to like see, because it's it's gotten dark. Um, it it must be like sometime after sundown? Question mark. Uh, because uh, yeah, your your vision is quite limited, and everywhere is really black or dark gray. Mm, you come down, and uh, you hear that there is actually like noise. Um, there's like there's um, life. Uh, going about the, the inn, and um, once you're close enough for you to be able to see things, well, um, you're a little bit more disgruntled, I guess, uh, because uh, the there is, like, a, um, a group is not a good word, there is an expedition, a, a horde, oh, let's go with this, a horde of demons is, like, uh, all over the ruins of, of the inn. Um, uh, you uh, uh, like at a glance, uh, you see mostly like smaller demons and like the de and, like devils, um, many quite similar to the ones you fought before. Like you see the like the flying ones. You see the some babau walking around. Babau, babau. Yes, yes. Uh, you're kind of looking on, and uh, yeah, obviously they they see you on approach, and they like raise their claws, and appendages, weapons, and like this like. In this uh, hellish cheer, um, the... I start cheering. Yeah, we got them, guys. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah, and you're brought down uh, into in into like the center of uh, this of the what used to be the inn, and there you are. You are you meet face to face with this massive uh, demon. Oh, that's terrible way of putting it. Um, imagine that you're looking at like a cross between like a, m a monkey, an ape, and, and and a pig. So just imagine you. Got it. Uh, except it, it's kind of huge, <laughs> right? Uh, it's like Ooh! Ooh! probably, mm, I don't know, that tell you anything, like an old, like the size of an ogre, or maybe even larger. Mm -hmm. Like big, furious, Tusks, kind of like a, like an orcs sticking it, sticking out of it. It's got like small chubby hands, massive tummy, and uh, uh, like goat legs. I guess would be a good way of putting it. And what this, do they taste like? Um, you you can try biting him when you get to him. Um, <laughs> uh, and it has these comically small wings at its back, kind of like. Um, you know, like in um, medieval or like all the Renaissance art, uh, you, you have those ch cherubs with, the, with their, like those little baby cherubs with the tiny wings. So imagine those, except like black raven wings. And it's standing there, you know, menacingly, arms, at, arms, uh, hands and hands on hips, uh, eyeing you closely, waiting for you to land. Behind it stands uh, like a slightly smaller demon, kind of. A more typical one, also very um, distinguishable because 
A, much larger, B, on the only one of its kind around here. Um, you see this like large reddish muscly mass of, 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 a, of demon with like large horns and like two crab crab style mandibles and two like big hulk style arms standing kind of behind this big pig demon okay and uh like all around kind of in like a circle uh the smaller demon the lesser de demons are standing around chewing uh just making a general ruckus uh, as you are kind of brought brought down in front of the pig demon and the, the vulture demon lies, uh, like a flies overhead and drops you as it's like passing right right over the ground. So you fall down, tumble a little, stop, and um, kind of the world is spinning. Before you get, get a grip on yourself, you feel yourself get picked up and you kind of look to your sides. Like two Baba U are holding you, one from, for one, one's holding one arm, one's the other. And they force you up onto your knees and turn you towards the pig demon. And the pig demon approaches you. Hello! Bit rude. Um, you say hello back? I'm, I'm sorry, I really wanted to say hello, but be out of character. <laughs> the, yeah, the, uh, yeah it, this pig demon walks up to you. And, say, and says, you mortal. And you, you are... pig. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like snorts. You serve the air. You will lead us to her. Are you done? You just talk very slow. <laughs> Hello? That's in character, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Um I turn to the Baba who is he is he okay? What's going on here? Is he always like this? So you turn to him and the Baba who kind of like shoves you forward a little, kind of keeps you turned to uh, towards it. And the, the the pig demon walks the final few steps uh, close to you and like kind of picks up your hand picks up your head uh, but it's, like, grasp your head it, it it's got it's, its hands are so massive that it can't like hold it properly so it just grabs you by like, like two fingers like tilts you up a little almost to the point where of pain because you're looking like so far up and, and uh, it says you know where she is Who? Oh. Put your piggy trots off my head! And it starts twisting your head sideways, like turning it up almost to like the breaking point. Ah, yeah. Straight in your in your neck. Can't help you if I'm dead, idiot. Yeah. No. And you will live for now. And like, let's go. And your head snaps back. And it and it just asks, "Where is she?" Uh, I mean, you know, <sighs> bow my head a little bit. I was raised an orphan, so I don't exactly know where my mother is, but I've been I've been searching just like you. And to this response, uh, mm, it snorts loudly again and uh, kind of reaches behind you and grabs you by your wings. Like you feel it, like tucks to the side a little, and then it heaves. And you hear just a, a loud crack and like two massive like spears of pain go like shocking through your body as, oh, it, as yeah. the demon breaks your uh, breaks your um, 
breaks your uh, like wing limbs. Oh yeah, it's like loud it's like chiropractory. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think it's a little bit more um, profound. As after all, he kind of like took your wings and like folded, crumpled them up. So it's you know they're broken. And it says, I don't need you to walk either. Where is she? I mean, again, I don't know. I was born in an egg. I've never even seen my mama. I don't even know what she looks like. It's like, uh, it, it, now, now, now you've pissed him off solidly. So he like gives this like squeal of rage and uh, kind of like punches you with an uppercut. No. Oh. So we no longer Hubert no longer is like with us for this for this bit, but you just see like from the side like uh, the avian gets lifted into the air. The bubble will just let go and take steps back. It's lifted into the air, flies up a little, makes a flip in the air, lands on his face a little bit further back. Like the the demon pig demon breathes heavily, and then says says a thing in uh, Inferno, which we don't understand, but we get subtitles, and it says we march in the morning. And with that, like the pig demon, like turns away, walks off, and um, uh, yeah, the the true Baba will grab the uh, grab the unconscious Hubert and like drag him off somewhere. So. Hubert, um, is there anything particular happening inside your mind while you're unconscious this time? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. As I am dazed and confused, there is a Baywatch-like scene where Maelstrom and I are running together Across the beach in slow motion. <laughs> Nothing but our skivvies. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're starting to feel you. It's a little inexplicable, I guess. But this, this does get you, like, excited. Wink, wink. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, so you said he gets excited? Yeah. Like, you, you can hear it, right? Yeah. Uh, we're, I'll, I'll move <laughs> Hubert over. <laughs> and I'll make this group larger because it's the main horde. There we go. Okay. I mean, given the situation, I'm surprised that the, like, you know, Succubi hasn't done anything yet. But, Holy yeah. shit! <sighs> hey, fuck you. B, let me finish. Uh, C, <laughs> Hubert. Um, yeah, the first thing you, yeah, you're kind of like feeling this like excitement, right? Um, it's like the first it's, thing that comes it back to you. into my mouth. Uh, but it's feeding me now. Kind of right, riding, riding behind it, you start feeling the pain in your back. Your broken wings are like being pressed against something. So like the the, the stabs of pain kind of like bring you back forward, and then you feel like that there's like some sort of like pressure on you, like you're being weighed down. Like to feel something is like put, keeping you pinned, and then the noises come forth. Um, you hear them. You hear like a mixture of like uh, somewhat close, not not immediate, but like not nearby. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the word. Nearby, like shouting and like like fighting. You hear like the sound of. The uh, flesh being torn and like demons screaming, whatever's going on over there. You're not entirely sure, but so you finally manage to like get your eyes open. Like it's still dark, so it's like a little hard to focus. And then you kind of like focus and you see that there's this um, a familiar at this point face, um, uh, uh, kind of like sort of like female in origin, were it not for like the scales and oh, the, like, the horns. Disgusting. And and the fangs. You kind of look on as uh, as uh, the succubus is 
like wings kind of like flap gently and as she's like sitting on your lap kind of like face to face with you like has this wicked smile on her face and she says hello remember me yes it's the first succubus that you have uh, come across not the one that you tried to like stab in the back slash hug um, it, it's the first one that's uh, the second one or the other one that the other one the other one All right. the one you scared off first and yeah she's sitting on your lap and she asks smiling remember me what do you do uh, I have a new phone who does Uh, no. And quite quite frankly, madame, I'm in a lot of pain. So, um, if you could, like, you know, not sit on me, that'd be great. I can tell. But I have an offer to make you, and if you refuse, you'll be in a lot of Yeah, more... there's been a lot of pain right now. Can't really, you know, can you just get off? Ah, oh, but there will be more if you say no to what yeah, I have to say. Yeah, just get very hard to concentrate. You're very thick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No. But, uh, no. Look. You have a connection with her. You know what I'm, you know who I'm talking about. I mean, only by genetics. I I told the pigman I still don't know my mom. She she like she rolls her eyes. No, silly. The heir, the human woman that you've been traveling with. But she's not a bird. She's not my mom. Ugh. No, she's not your mom. I don't care about your mom. I care about hair. No. Oh. Everyone around here cares about hair. And see, quite frankly, if. That one gets to her first, there's not going to be much of her left. And I don't like that. So, what do you say that I help you out of here, kind of looks around, and you lead me to her? Huh? Can you get off me now? She shakes signs deeply and says, Ah, oh, fine. She stands up and stretches, and you feel a lot of pressure lifted off your lower uh, parts. And you're back, but yeah. Yeah, she kind of like, stretches seductively and says, Well, there's not much time. Whatever this distraction is, it's not going to last. Uh, you didn't realize I can't really do a lot. I'm a broken mess. Oh, it's just wings, silly. You can still walk, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like me ripping out your lungs. Oh, it's only lungs. You've still got a heart. No, it's one and the same. <laughs> Look, I can see that you're quite upset with your loss. I would be lying if I said I was sorry. But I do have business with you. You help me. Fix my wings. We got ourselves a deal. She like shrugs. I can't, I can't fix them myself. But if you stay here, they won't get fixed for sure. But if I go with you, they won't get fixed for sure either. It's sort of, you know, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Well, if you lead me back to your master, maybe she can do something about it. Shrugs, I don't know. But then why would I need you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't need me. I need you. Well, there is this problem that you kind of, like, notice that you're, like, you have your, um, like, hands tied kind of in front of you. And, and so you're in and legs as well, right? You're like tied up and like lying off to the side somewhere. What do you even want with her? 
Mm -hmm. It's a personal need. Maybe I'll tell you more if we have time on the road. Well, what about my friend? What about him? I, I said friends, plural, bitch. That, uh, look, look, motherfucker, that could cut off in the process. Uh, <laughs> and she says, I only care about the air. Your friends are of no import. Not to me, well, at least. Well, you, you do realize that if you kill her, we all die. Oh, but I don't want to kill her. Killing is... A short... And temporary... Pleasure. Hmm, no. I want something longer. More lasting. And she, like, turns her head. And you notice that, like, the sounds of, like, combat have not only moved away, but, like, died down. Like, there's no no more, like, this sound of, like, flesh rending and, like, whatever. In general, like, combat has faded away and you can only hear, like, some demonic shouts kind of you know, drawing further. And she says, hmm, looks like we're almost out of time. So what will it be? Are you coming? Or would you rather them slaughter you? Do you have a coin? A coin? What for? Because we're going to play a game. Heads. I help you. Tails. Pack your fucking face off. Oh, darling, I don't think we're in a position for games right now. I have to decide, and you have to decide quickly. So that she, like, looks off. What will it be? Okay. And she, and, and she smiles broadly and says, mm, I knew you'd come to your senses. But mm. There's one more thing that I need you to do first. Nope, not binding. We didn't agree. I agreed before this. Oh, you're bound already. No, no. I meant more agreement between us two. And she kind of like looks into your eyes and you can feel, you can feel like some sort of like uh, magic. Some, yeah, she, she's doing something to your mind um it's um it, it's a pleasant feeling but you kind of feel like you're like slipping off kind of as if you're like in, ingested like some sort of aphrodisiac do you, uh, do you do you let her do her thing or um do you try to resist resist i need you to make a check of some kind i'm very precise i know um it's a saving throw. I just don't remember which one. I want to say it's they make you roll wisdom. Where the hell are succubi? All oh, right, <coughs> not with the rest of the demons. Oh, here. Okay, give me a. Uh, that's not this. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Yeah, no succubi can keep me down. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you feel like yourself like slipping away to whatever her magic is doing and like coupled with like the, the touch, like the soft touch of her hands as she's undoing your bindings. It, it kind of makes you like woozy again, but you can like, like shake your head and like, no, no demon. And uh, Demon! Yeah, you, you uh, managed to um, retain, uh, retain your consciousness, at least for now. And yet you can see that she's um, a little um, displeased with this. But uh, given that like you now can hear like steps co steps coming from the stalwart flag and like, towards you, um, uh, she doesn't press the issue further and said... And, um, just yeah, just motions her head off into the forest and says, "Good, fine. 
Now follow me and let's get out of here. And uh, can you gonna... teleport? No, I'm afraid we're walking, darling. Come on. Okay, well, I'm a broken man, so you're gonna have to help. <coughs> And uh, she uh, she sighs again, and says, "You're a real drama queen, aren't you? Now come on!" And, oh uh, yeah, I raise my voice. She, Let's see you break some wings. She she grabs you by her by the by your hand, and uh, like yeah, like kind of pulls you along. And shh, don't want them coming. Uh, give me st a stealth check. Let's see if you can um, like <laughs> sneak off into the woods. It, you, you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I'm an expertise in stealth. It's guaranteed, dude. Fantastic, bro. <laughs> nice. Look, you're, you're, look you're, you're like a sneaky... You're like a pair of sneaky buddies. Sure. Sneaky sneaks. Yeah, you kind of like skulk off into the forest. Mm, you hear quite the ruckus behind you, like... Um, soon after, uh, you hear a lot more demons shouting, running about. Um, clearly, they noticed you missing, and they like mobilized um, to uh, try to find you. Um, search parties all over. Uh, some of them come somewhat close, but uh, you manage to avoid them, no problem. And uh, yeah, sneak off into the night, uh, and once you're kind of like in the clear. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of becomes mm, clear to you that you've still been going at it for an entire day. So you kind of should rest now before you press any press any further. I mean, you can push yourself, right? Uh, but mm, but uh, I've been beaten. You you are quite tired. So yeah, seeing like seeing that you're like barely moving, mm, barely, barely shuffling along. Um, Mm, uh, the succubus says, mm, "You know what? I think we should take a break. A good night's sleep will do you well." Will you snuggle up next to me? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, J Jk, I don't like you, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there is a silence, and she makes a face. <laughs> And um, yeah, I yeah I think she uh, she doesn't have a problem of staying up at least for now. No, I'm, so. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I won't be that. Come here, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in for the hug. Come on, I like. Her. Okay, I kind of imagine that she is like slightly taller than you. So when you go for a snuggle, you kind of like wind up with your beak like on uh, like on her chest level. Well, I'm gonna hug some more then. Why didn't Fantastic. you tell me this earlier? <laughs> mm. So yeah, she um gently wraps your back, avoiding the broken wings, kind of like in the Ooh. intact spots. And um, yeah, with 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 this, you kind of like uh, sail away into Dream Wonderland. Mm. Let's see, how far away is Party from the village uh, from the Tower of Flagon? Four miles. Fantastic. Um, it was tech you took first watch, right? Second. Who the that fuck That was me. Look, you're one person to me, okay? Um, Mal wow. Who? Yes, I am one person. Where? Thank you. Uh, uh, Maelstrom, um, what's your passive perception? It is... Actually, you probably don't need passive perception. 14. You're chilling. Trying to not fall asleep, looking around, trying to, hoping no demon finds you off in this like corner wherever you are. Um, you sh I should move you a little. Pop. Okay. Uh, you hear like the sound of like footsteps, kind of like stomping heavily on ash coming towards. It's like a single pair of footsteps. Someone's running towards you from the south, kind of like the way you came in from the. Uh, you kind of kind of from where from the road. From where you are diverted from the route and looked for your camp. Something some some singular singular person is coming. 
I don't see anyone, anything. Um, they're still too far away for you to see. It's pitch black and there's lots of, lots of brambles in the way. So vision is okay, I jump down from the rock and wake up uh, Dwarstek and Yanmon. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Uh, well, I was gonna tell you someone's coming and we should be quiet, but it's a little too late, I guess. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the the ladies are still sleeping. If you want to wake them up, then sure. No. Okay. So yeah. Mm. Um. You. Uh. You um. Kind of like wait and see what's coming, and yet you hear um. Yeah, you hear this. The steps are like growing closer, and then like this um. Actually no, yeah, you just hear the steps getting closer and closer, and um, Yanmorn, do you have dark vision? Yes. Oh, actually, maybe I do have dark vision if I turn into a beast. You guys Let me know check. what the dwarf has? Dark vision. Just, just give me a sec. Yeah, it's about what everyone check. sees, right? Oh, um, right, and right. A water genasi doesn't have dark vision. Right. No, but maybe the wolf does. Um, maybe yeah. look. The wolf. The dire wolf. Yeah, right. I don't need wolf, the wolf. No, it doesn't. You can change into an owl. Uh, oh yeah, I could. Bloody big owl. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I turn into an owl. You, you like land on Dwastek's shoulder. It's like, great buddy, you're very useful now. Um, yeah. Um, sure, yeah, I'm gonna go a bit higher up than that. Actually, no, I can't because it has a flying speed, so I know I can't. So, never mind. I don't do anything. You just sit there in the dark waiting for something to happen. Okay. Do you see anything? It's like, you, you, the two of you are like looking, looking like eh. Uh, I'm not even trying at this point. I can't see shit. See anything? No, but you hear like something running towards you, and like yeah, eventually you start starting to see like, um, like a like a figure, like like like, like a huddled figure. Hello. Uh, let me finish. Huddled figure, uh, skulking between uh, the trees. And uh, Yanmon, you're the first. You're the first person to notice this fully. Um, you, uh, 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 like, they, they already come very close, right? Because you can only like see sixty feet out, enough. Uh, in, assuming there's like no tree in the way, which is uh, quite unlikely here. But yeah, you see like rush running towards you. You see this like. Mm, this uh <laughs> you see sword. one of the corpses from the inn they're unmistakable like desiccated corpses um <laughs> what the fuck? the important thing is like you we were chopping their heads off right mm. yes. yes i was it, it doesn't have a head like where the head should be there's like empty space but in cool. its hand in its hand is like car carrying the head Kind of like separate and it's like running towards you <laughs> and um yeah it, it comes like within vision so not dwarfs you see it too and it like and it and it shouts loudly it shouts um what, what did it shout it, it, it shouts in this like mangled voice it shouts necromancer well so she so the thing actually screamed out the same thing as me that's kind of convenient <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's like shouts necromancer I go and, and wake up Laura. Yeah, at, at this point, I think both both the ladies like wake up and like, huh, what? Uh, he's, he's asking for you. Wait, <laughs> Wait what? He's, he just asked for a necromancer. I think he's talking to you. And and she doesn't see anything, right? <laughs> so she conjures up like this ball of light. No, stop! What the... Well, good job. Now everyone knows we're here. Oh, I mean, the no, thing is right. running straight at you, right? Yeah, but I mean, what if there's someone else? That's a problem for later. Just, just stop that. No. Cut it out. Okay, so you. Yeah, okay, so you're yeah. Ignore, ignore the undead rushing towards you. So, okay, so yeah, you sure. see her like starting to cast like a light spell, and you, like hush her down, like forget the fact that you can't see anything either. Well, yeah, uh, no, I mean, I don't want more people to come to us. It's bad. Okay, so um. At this point, I think like the un like this monster, like, undead, I guess it's like getting close enough for us to roll initiative. 
Why are we rolling initiative? Because there's a monster charging at you. Why is it well, an enemy? I... Can't we reason <laughs> yeah. with it? Yeah. I mean, who is it yeah. charging at? If well, it's Ro, I'm fine with it. I mean, what? You I can... mean, we're so peaceful normally. If you don't want to fight, what? then sure, it's not a problem. It clearly wanted to talk to Laura. I mean... I mean, yeah, like... If it wasn't Hello, holding a weapon stranger, how head. are you doing? Yeah, that's how you greet people, you by their title. Neck. You need some help? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Alright, all right. the... I mean, skeleton is rushing, uh, well... I the, don't have a guy, though. State and of Decay. To answer. Okay, what so that was state the... of Decay is the thing? It's the one of the desiccated corpses from the Star Wars flag, so it's like a well-preserved, dried-up body with a... Hand, its head in its hand. Right. It took its head off. <laughs> okay, so that's Alena and that's Laura. Okay, initiative. Did one map because otherwise I want the battle map. <laughs> There's, it's just one enemy. All right. So you get a four. Okay. Uh, so, uh, body. Uh, it's kind of up to you. We're going to um do this fight. However, it ends. And then we're gonna probably call it. So you don't need me. It's up to you if you want to stay. <laughs> See, if I go though, the longer you can play. See. Well, not really, because at some point, like uh, Hubert and the succubus are going to come back into play, right? Some point. There you go. Good luck, everyone. Oh, thank you. Got a nineteen. <laughs> You're did. fucked. Because he hugs, hugs. Uh, my man, 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 my are, are we going to face something else that is going to be hard? Otherwise, we can just like, okay, cool, died. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a goal, yeah, yeah, it's it's totally a goal. Yeah, please roll. Um, no, it, it uh, th now that the zombie is like zombie, sure, it's like closing well, in on you. Endless. You see, if, an important thing, an important distinction, in that like most most and undead you're facing either have like these like burning like eye sockets of skeletons, right? That's what you remember from like your last moments, or, like these empty stairs of like zombies. No, this thing is like, has like n normal looking eyes, and they are dead set on Laura, who's like. And they're also in not the attached to his, to the rest of this body. No, but, the, yeah, oh, they're attached to the normal head. eyes. Did she learn how to do a true resurrection? Ah. Oh. But. She's the true evil of this world, we all know it, it's fine. That would actually be kind of interesting. I'm going to stand in the way between Laura and this thing, and point my sword at it and yell stop. Well, say stop, not not shout, it's... Uh, so it's not your turn. It's, night. Is it? it's your turn. Oh, yes. it is. Um, so the question is, like, what exactly are you doing? Can um, we get all the people on the initiative? Because it's not all there. Everyone is on there? Oh, no. right, because the thing, right, um, I see it because I'm special. Uh, there, thank well, you. that's what I keep saying, to clearly, you're special. I'm fixing, I'm fixing. <laughs> there. Oh, that's perfect, my nice initiative. Okay, so Ian, um, do you like, uh, do you want to like prepare like an attack action if it closes in and doesn't stop at you? Yes. Okay. No, you can Bearing stop, to stab uh, it. If it comes any closer, it doesn't stop. Okay. So next it's Laura. And like, okay, so Maelstrom, Laura like turns to you and says, Look, whatever it is, it's probably not friendly. We need to see this, okay? And... Uh, Just yeah. And two that respond to say, hey, just, it's just one. How about I hold it down and we figure out what the fuck it is? Okay, just just direct the light toward it and not everything like you just did. I don't have a localized... Put your hand lantern. around it! Try! Right, right, it it okay, lights up a it? thing! How about this? Okay, I try to hold that shit down. If I fail, you light it up with magic, right? Uh, 
Okay, Good so, for me. Okay, so she's like stumbles a ways away from uh, this like zombie. Kind of giving it some space. Okay, so Alina, Alina like mumbles in Elvish and it says, like the dead before, but different. The eyes are different. And she, um, she uh, so yeah, she, you look, you see a look of panic on her uh, on her face, and she like grasps her club more tightly, like. Her like her spell, her magic hasn't regenerated, so she can't do too much. Mm, compared to usual, um, Dwostek, it's your turn. All right, let's see. How many rages do I have at the moment? How many have you used today? I mean, I didn't sleep. You don't need to get angry at night. <laughs> I suppose. Right, uh, alright, let's, uh, grapple the fucker. Alright, roll a grapple check. Nice. I did. Okay, it counters with its athletics. And you, yeah, and yeah, you like, you kind of come in front of it and like, nah, stop right here, and you grab it by the free hand. And like, turn, tur turns the other, the head towards you. Oh, grab the head, somebody grab the head. <laughs> Well, I, no, I'm grasping it. Can I throw away no, I mean... head? Oh yeah. Sure. No, it's like firmly grasped here. and grasped. Just sit here, here, here. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm winning a grapple contest. Can I throw away the head? No, you're just holding him down. A grapple check literally makes you immobile, like making target stop moving. Speed is zero. But but, all right. <laughs> yes. Um. So yeah. Uh. It like it turns the head toward, towards you and, and, and says, Get out of my way! She must suffer! Hey, yeah. I just want to know what she did, right? If she just, like, deserves it, you can tell me, and I will act based on that, right? What the fuck does she deserve? Ugh, fuck, got something in throat. Fuck. Yeah, it punches <laughs> you, that's what that's what you have in the throat. <laughs> fuck. Uh, yeah, once I gotta get water. One sec. Oh, that was so perfect, though. I have to wait now. Right, okay, now my throat's better. Um, okay, so, it's, right. it, so it, it, like, it, tur it, it turns to you, and, and it, it, this thing shouts, like, She made me this! And um, without, like, further ado, it's, it, it attacks you. It goes to punch. Um, well, punch. It, like... It uses it its, you with head. its head. It it uses its head as a bludgeon, so we're getting whacked by its head. Yeah. By the way, can we recognize oh. which of them the the corpse is? Like, is it Roger by any chance? Yeah, it's the innkeeper's head. One one oh. of the other corpses. Uh, so yeah, body. So it is Roger. Okay. It punches you once. It so... punches you. What's your AC? Eighteen, I think. Let me say. Yeah, eighteen. Okay, it punches you once. So Roger turned into a ghost and a zombie. That's that's. Okay, that's some so comic you take to revenge. Thirteen bludgeoning damage as it clo clobbers you with its head. That's a fucking strong thing for attacking with a fucking head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow. Jesus. Yeah, this this is not your average pushover zombie. Whatever this is, it's like an enhanced version. It's. Clearly stronger. Clearly. Yeah, that's the head. Died, the... even though it's the enemy that hits really fucking hard. <laughs> like, does the head it's, suffer it's any like damage in return? That's a valid 20, question. Four, let's see. That the thing. What the fuck? Did he get the damage right? Yes. What the fuck? The thing can do thirty-two damage in one hit. What? You're telling me not to rage? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say shit! I didn't say shit! This is a monster! This is a proper undead monster! What the fuck is here? What the f Fuck you! I didn't say shit! It's not me, trust me. Uh, so yeah, it hits you. Um, right, yeah, you yeah, that, that hurts like shit, alright. You get clocked solidly, like, across the, across the jaw. And now then, you get angry. Yeah, Maelstrom, whatever this is, it's trouble. Okay, light it up. Uh, I wanna walk up to it. 
You don't see um, it. <coughs> Whatever you're trying to do, you can't see it. Really? Uh, I mean, really it's holding, pitch like, black. You can't see anything. Okay. Do a stake, say something. Well, I mean, yeah. you, you, know where okay, the is, you know where the fighting is going on, you just can't see it. Well, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna walk up while not seeing anything under the moonlight. I mean, I guess there's a moon somewhere, so I should be. A... No, there is no moonlight. I'm ready. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking and making noises. Like getting like well, you, you yeah, know where the I'm fight is happening. My point is, you're functionally blind. So you, that's fine. I'm going there. The is he currently fight, an owl? For? Well, you can't. No, he's not. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm going there and trying to grab the head. Mm. Who has the spear? Um, what did you do to grab the head? Um, f f I'm sure you can try, I guess, but you have disadvantage. On, I mean, on... it's just holding it, so... You can't see the fucking thing. Yeah, sure, just saying. <laughs> yeah, so I'm also just saying. <laughs> what do I roll? I guess let's make it a grapple check, but it, like you have disadvantage. What's that? Uh, athletics? Yes. And I'm gonna use inspiration to get normal roll. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> you're like trying ah, to... Give me, give me, give me! Yeah, Let go! Like, you're like trying to grab at it, but like flaming wider so it like bounces off your bounces into your like fingers and like you hurt a little. Yeah. You, you don't you don't manage to get a grip on it now. Just just let it go. Just ah. And I want to turn into a giant spider because fuck not seeing. Okay, sure. Now there's a spider right next to you. Sure. A giant spider. Big ass. Does that take a turn though? No, it's a bonus action. Yeah. Oh, I should have done that before then. <laughs> like. Spider I mean, can the, the spider actually. Grab the head? I don't know. Yeah. Don't yeah. think it would have made a difference anyway. We have the same strength. Get stuck so. in a web. Uh, yeah, I will. Next turn. Ian, it's your turn. I haven't got a spear on me. Who's got a spear? I think that would be Duostek who's getting the spears. <laughs> I'm way up here. He never asked for the spear. Like. I literally asked like twice about the equipment. Does anyone? No, it's anything? just because he wants so... to put the head on the spike, but uh, first yeah, we have so we to grab pull... the head. Oh uh, well, okay. <laughs> There's like spears attached to my backpack, so yeah, you you know there are spears there because you can see them visually. Cool. Right. So I will go up to the um if you want to thing attack with them, and try and steal the head from its body. Seems like a weird thing to do, but as a rogue, I might be able to sleight of hand check this. Ooh. Or acrobatics it. Which one? Um, I don't know. If you want to grab. Uh, yeah, I think that's more like a sleight of hand check, sure. Can he hide uh, in that sleight of hand? Might be better. Well, it, it's not focusing on me. Well, no, yeah. but it, it sees you, right? You're not hidden. Okay. Yeah, but uh, what if he moves. How can it see oh, me if its head's pointing at Dwostek? Because it's looking around as the head is swinging. Uh huh. Is, is there nothing you can hide behind to like sneak up to him? Hang on a minute. Like... Do I do I get any bonuses for being a rogue? This. Well, slight of him. Yeah, you probably have points. extra extra plus something to your side of hand check. Yeah, let me let me locate this. It's probably something I get like. Thief archetype. No, I don't think there's any buffs from that. Not at this level. Ah, third level. I uh, get a bonus action to use an object, use my thief's sword to disarm a trap or open a lock. That doesn't quite help. Yeah, you can drink a potion if you want. Uh, not helpful. Or like cram a potion down the head. Throat. Okay, so let's let's try nicking the head. I mean, that didn't work. Let me see. Unless you have inspiration. It holds on to it. Sure. Do you have inspiration? Damn it. Well if it holds on to it, can I can I you can I try and attack? You declare inspiration before the roll. No, that took that takes your it took your action to try and grab at it. Damn it. Does it? 
It does. With thief? Don't yes, because so you're not special. trying to use an object. You're just you're trying. You're making an attack against this guy, which is a very specialized attack of get the. No, 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 no. Starting at third level, you can use your bonus action by a uh, cunning action to make the dexterity sleight of hand check. Hey, he can steal it. Yeah. Um, Take it. I need to it's read called, that, but I think I agree. It's called fast hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Literally what he does. He's gonna steal the head from him. Yeah, so uh, I can. So I, I oh, yeah. try, tried to steal it. Failed. Right, well, yeah. if it's not, not gonna give me the head, I'll chop its hand off and take the head. Good idea. Noble attempt. Let's go. Do I have my stealth bonus? Because I'm, 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 I'm... You have your sneak attack. That's it. That one. We just have to hit it. The, the object is to take its hand off, right? I don't know. You're, you said that. Sure, it can be. If that's your plan. Well, I want to get the head off it. Sure. Because the head can talk. We'll just res we'll res restrain the body, but keep the head. But just destroy the body at this point. I mean, we don't... Sounds like a good plan. You miss. Oh, dear. Curses. You miss. Okay. Uh, okay. At this, one of you people. All right, you can have the light body. now. <laughs> yeah. At this point, yeah, she casts she casts her light spell and she like puts it uh, like somewhere Wait, near I, you, right? Hmm? I thought she already cast it. No, because you said no. Oh. Well, I said the... stop it after I thought she casted it, but that's fine. The way you described it, it was like so she ca I said she casts a spell, and then you're like, no, stop, stop, stop. So okay, so she stopped, right? Because you can see her casting a spell, right? I mean, it's like pretty much just her. saying light, and that, that would have been pretty much instantaneous. No, the casting time is one action. It takes six seconds to cast the spell. Anyway, let's Look, you, you can counter spell a light spell if you really want to, is my point. So I don't have counter not, spell. It, it's a, it, that's, your, that's a you problem, not a me problem. Um, I agree. Laura casts her light spell, and yeah, the, the whole place kind of lights up. So now everyone is on the same page. You can see... I'm blind! You, you're not blind, but you see that what you've been grabbing at, and it's quite an unpleasant sight. So maybe I mean, I already saw it because I'm a giant spider now. So. Oh right, you're even uglier now. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Does this somewhat surprise the dryad unless it has dark vision that some massive no, spiders she, disappeared? She, she, ha she no, she does have dark vision. So she, she saw uh, whatever. What's his face? Maelstrom change into it. Sucks. Uh, sucks to be Laura, doesn't it? Because she, she's like. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a sh giant spider in front of her. <laughs> She like takes a deep, she like takes a deep breath, but seeing that the spider is turned towards whatever is the obvious bad thing, uh, is she afraid of spiders? She makes none of it. Um, Maybe. Not, not. Well, to she to see if she's arachnophobic. Not critically, no. Um, Could try an intimidation yeah, so check. She just, she, she just takes a deep breath and, and says, oh, "What is that?" I turn to water on the... Can spiders talk? <laughs> yes, you can hear how good it is at talking. Um, mm. So, Elena tries to cast a spell, and you see, like, um, brambles, roots, like, spring up from the ground, and they try to, like, grab at the revenant, keep it in place. It's a revenant. Right. <laughs> Off he goes to check the monster manual. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the DC is... Quick, make a history oh, it check. Fails. It's restrained. The monster is restrained. Oh, that's a big icon. <laughs> make that too... Sp you wave spider arms, sure. Okay, so the thing... the bram Okay, so the like, brambles like sprung up from the ground and grabbed the... Uh, grabbed the monster and it's like now held in place and it's like... Howling and trying to break free. Right. Well, I am pissed as balls, so I rage the fuck out. Actually, and, wait, is uh... it? The spell is different here. <laughs> Sorry. You rage the fuck Chop out. Chop its and head do from what? its arm. Right, right. So I, I rage the fuck out, and. Uh, like, how how is he restrained, by the way? In what way? What manner? Oh, spell save DC. Okay, so it's a first. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, roots sprung up from the ground, like twisted around yeah. its limbs, 
So it's like held in place by yeah, just wood coming out from the ground. So it's standing up. Yeah. So you get uh, advantage when it's yeah, it's it's restrained. It can't move properly, so it can't dodge your attacks. You have advantage on any attack you make. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, yeah, I'll take that little head of his and throw it as far as I can, if I can. Oh, it works. <laughs> 21, 21. It's fine. Could you oh, no, we fail. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we established the sleight of hand check. Wait, what? What? What about? The thing. Uh, does it matter? Cause you I'm not trying thing. to nick it. I'm what? forcefully taking it from yeah, his grass Yeah, he's just taking hand. it. This is not like, you know, trying to nick um, it out of his hand like that. You this is me forcefully. You have advantage on attacks and not checks, I believe. Yeah, but I'm raging, so I do. Keep going. Why do, you have Why do you have advantage when you're raging? I do. Why? No, it's a legit question. Why? Uh, because I have rage. What? But does rage do that? Yeah, advantage on stream checks. Um, yes, it does. Rows. Yes, like, yes, that that's a thing. Rage is yeah. OP. Well, okay. if you're in melee against specifically a melee character, <laughs> it should to probably do work, right? Yes. I mean, anyway. like, it, it's kind of like, you know, my thing. I mean, if, for example, let's say it would be a spellcaster, that little ability would be kind of shit, but, you know. Probably. Um, well, it still has damage. Okay, so let's see. You grab it. You can toss it like 40 feet. Um, give me an attack check. I guess let's see. If you roll high enough, we'll, I'm gonna we're gonna say it, like flies behind a tree or something, and the creature like loses um, coordination. Just just toss it to Aurora. It's a plan. I Give guess. Give it to me, and we'll stick it on a spear, and we'll talk to it. Uh, we uh, maybe if you stick it on a spear, it won't be able to talk. So maybe just keep it intact. It's not for connected now. to its body. What's the difference? I don't know, there's something sticking through the head, that's the well, difference. Just drop the head on the floor. Yeah, but just give it to Laura. Hey, have advantage on strength checks. Yes, you yes. do, okay. <laughs> frisbee. frisbee, oh yes, yep. Okay, so you toss <laughs> the head frisbee off off to the side and it like lands at the... Uh, lands like right next to a tree, kind of like cocks it, itself off to the side and like lying on the side. And like it's like still sh it's like still shouting like necromancer. Yeah, we like, get it. Visibly, it's like um, it's not pure rage. It's like pained, a pained anger. That's the vibe you're getting from it. Um, however, it still that has like a right. So of the I call out, "Hey, Laura, what the fuck is he on about?" Can we just get rid of the body before we start trying to I, find I, out what the fuck's going on? I have no idea what this is. No, of course you don't. Restrain uh, okay, the body. Okay, if they okay, can't okay, see, okay, it can't okay, do anything. Okay, 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 okay. Insight. <clears throat> um, okay, sure. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, you don't pick up anything funny here. She seems sincere. Anyway, now it's the Revenant's turn, and it tries to break free from the uh, entangling roots. It breaks free. It can't free see. With, it can't see. The, the head is like away, off to the side, but it still has like it's vision blind. Of, of what's happening. Yeah, but the, that thing has disadvantage. I mean, that doesn't yeah. stop you from flailing around. I mean, yeah, disadvantage. The body, the head It'll can fall still, over. The head is looking at you. You can like jog over you and like kick it into the forest and then the and then it will be like off somewhere but right just now just turn it round the... this is why <laughs> i told you to this is why i told you to give it to Laura so then she can blind it i mean th this thing is like on like you know the ground somewhere randomly in a forest and you are like oh yeah it's definitely looking specifically at the part it's like what okay, can we all Shit uh... has 360 degree vision in this game okay no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This is some mo like a head that I threw forty feet this away in the next, forest. Next level zombie shit. Yeah, it tumbled and landed by a tree, and now it's looking sideways at you. Luck of the draw. Wow. Maelstrom. <laughs> Fuck that. Yes. Um. Spider. So it... Spider bro, what are you doing? Yeah. Fuck it. But it's it's not restrained anymore, right? So uh, I'm no. gonna uh, web it. It's still grappled though. Well. Uh, okay. Um. Um. 
You don't make an attack here, I make an attack. What do you mean you make an attack? No, I make an attack. Oh, so it needs to hit. Um, it doesn't yes. hit with a, It doesn't hit with a natural one, I'm sorry. Look, it... Plus five? Damn. You spur yes, this white substance five. all around him. Good aim, buddy. Well... Ian, what do okay. you do? So, this, this, the, the headless corpse is like flailing around trying to grasp at uh, Dwostek, who's like still holding him down. Uh, and like the head is like tumbled off to the side and is screaming at uh, Laura, and the ladies are like off to the side trying to figure out what to do. Casting spells. I take a small sack out of my bag, walk over to the head, and put the head in the sack. You do that? Okay. And right, you now now it's have blind. a screaming sack. <laughs> it's like howling at you. No! Right, now it's blind. <clears throat> I hand the sack to Laura. Here, talk to it. Okay, you, you, okay, you can't go that far, because like on the opposite ends of the uh, arena here. So, yeah, you um, start walking back, sure. Rogue, rogue with bonus action to move quickly. Yeah, I'll... I'll... Yeah, sure, I'll give it to you. Yeah, you like run Thank over you. to it. Like, okay, so bag like, the head. She, she, right. She, she's like, now holding a head in a bag. Just, she took it from you and she's like, Why didn't you give it? What am I supposed to make of this? Well, it seems to want you for some reason. And currently, it can't see. So we'll hold its body down whilst you figure out what it wants. We can't burn it until the morning because that'll give away our position. Yeah, just try right. to keep it quiet. It's making too much noise. All this time it's it like quiet. it's just screaming at you, so you have to like shout <laughs> over it. Oh, it's I'm really a spider, by the way. I can't talk. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just flailing my uh, spider legs at her. <laughs> yeah, so like you yep. have eight legs, and like two are like spread, two are spread in front because you just like spat shit. So you're balancing on your four middle legs while the two back ones are like making an interpretive dance at Laura. Exactly, yes. Great. Right. Yeah. She's got a head. <laughs> that she does. Um, what would she do? She would roll an arcana check. Uh, she has Out in the open, please. Six. Yeah. Ooh. And so she says, it, it, it looks like a revenant, it's not going to talk, it just wants to kill. You have to kill it. And how do we kill a revenant? Because clearly beheading it didn't work. Just keep at it, it will break eventually. I can't behead it again. Wait, hold on, hold on, what do I know about revenants? I don't know. You know nothing. You need to spend an action to learn something about them. Oh, so okay. if you have questions, well, she she kind of laid down the most important thing, like kill it. Is there a large rock? Mm. Hmm. Just crush the head under a rock. Uh, you need to look for one of a perception check. On your turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Alina's turn, and. Um... Yeah, she really doesn't want to come close, so she tries to summon the brambles again, and the revenant, like the spring up around around the rev the body again. But it's like it's yeah, it's still like flailing its arms wildly, so it breaks them before they can even entangle it properly. Just shatter with like this sound of wood getting destroyed. I did nothing. Dwostek, what are you doing? Uh. All right, so I call out. Does this thing have any weakness or strong points? Well, don't don't try to poison it. But no, you can just keep hitting it. it its body will degrade. Um, in that case, let's you have go advantage. for a. Uh... Well, hit. And then we do a little savagery. This one's per turn. Yes. That's very nice. 
Instead of that, we are going to say d12 plus 2. Oh, you're using your great tax, right? So it's a two hand. Um, um, oh, yeah, well, right. It needs yeah, to be I, a long sword, right? Uh, right. Yes, right, because right, right. Uh, you have your shield, right? When, when, when the. When oh, the I don't have a shield. You never gave me a shield. What are you on about? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey, yes. No, he doesn't have a shield. Yes, you don't. Right. Uh, I have a shield. He's holding but... down the. Can we, the can we stop for a moment and uh, I, I have an important question. Is Did I have advantage when I attacked with the spider because it was grappled? It has, it has advantage now that Ian has put its head in a bag. Uh, so what the, grappling doesn't give you advantage? It just reduces its speed to zero. That's the only thing. Oh, okay. Never is. mind then. So All right, so this is the first damage roll of the longsword, right? I still have like 20, but mm -hmm. you know, first damage mm -hmm. roll. It is slashing. 4, and we want to reroll that it shit. It is slashing so... damage. Okay, it's slashing. Go. It's still 4, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, happens, it is slashing damage, yes. You hit it, uh huh. It... You, you, you try oh, to wait, carve wait, into wait, the body. Wait, 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 I've spent more than an hour with this thing now, right? You haven't finished a rest. Uh, you, 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 like, carve into it, like, like, like make a little dent in, like, a, a tendon somewhere. Doesn't do all that much. Okay, so the corpse is flailing wildly, and it's trying it's to... It's blind. Yes, that's why it has disadvantage, but it's trying to hit Dwostek once, twice. <laughs> Hits Dwostek once. What thrashing sometimes works, and you get thrashed for 12 bludgeoning damage. Ow! Yeah, that's what the Revenant is doesn't, doing. Doesn't your like... rage give some sort of resistance to this? Huh? Doesn't your rage yeah, give yeah, resistance to this? Yeah, damage. He's just saying 12, then I'll do 6. Like he's doing the, resi the halving on his own. Uh, I don't get those rolls though, like... What? He so has disadvantage on attacks, so he rolls twice and takes seven? the worst result. Plus oh, seven. Oh right, right. It's only it's only um grappled right now, right? Oh um Dwastek, this is probably important to note. Uh you see it's like the dent you've put into its shoulder, like close up. Or, like on your eyes. Like pull out this why well, the sword you definitely heard it. There's like a crack, like put, put the sword in. Uh there's like half a second the the, the wound closes up. Body's good as new, and maybe that's why you you the, you had let the hit through because you were like too too shocked like what the shit, like it's it and it slams you. Mm. Maelstrom, what are you doing? Is it grappled? Mm, and... Yes, and you need to give me a D six, I believe, to recharge web. I uh, no. No, I'm thinking no. of a different character then. Because some abilities oh. need a recharge on it, and they need like a decent. Well, thing. this doesn't. Sure. Uh, so it's grappled but not restrained, so I want to web it again. But it is blinded, I, so. I get advantage, right? Um, uh, can you read. Can you bring up the web again? Because it, it can't see, so if it needs sight, then it's gonna fail. It doesn't matter. You hit. It's just an attack. Yeah, it, it doesn't require sight. So yeah, it's also like, got a twenty-one. It's like now it's web now. Right. Okay. I'm not good. sure what to make of that, but it's, like... uh, it's uh, it, it can't move. Like it's it's uh, oh. whatever it's called. Stops stops it flailing restrained. around. Yes, it's restrained. Fantastic. Yes. Um. Does it get double action. disadvantage now? No. Ah, triple them. No, Ian, it's your turn. Hmm. I ask Laura, how do we kill our evident? Uh, just, just keep hitting it. Eventually the body will die, or its target has to die. Which I don't like. Well, you're gonna have still, to help. Like, yeah, she's still like holding, holding the... Head and is like screaming at it, at her. Just smash the head, I guess. Fine. Well, I, I will take the head and then stab it through with my my rapier because it won't be able to do anything. 
Do I have to roll a hit on the head? No. The real question is, is the outer crit or not? <laughs> is, is it auto crit or not? Because... Like, let, let, let's be real here. Like, I have a head in my hand like... and, a, and a sword, and I'm going to stab it through. Um, no, Loa is the say... head, so... I'm going to say you have to roll to hit. What? But if Why? You hit, it will be an automatic crit because the, the head is pretty much incapacitated. I have Does advantage because he... it's blinded as well, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, stabbing through the bag, right? so it can't can't see me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have advantage. Wait, it's... Are, are, cool. Wait, One are, of them. Are... Auto crit, so roll another 3d6. Hmm. But how does it have a 3d6? Does I get another target that's normal big damage head. plus? <laughs> like cow. Like an object on the ground. Yeah. Like just holding it, the head out. It's fine, right? Uh, yeah. By the way, by the way, I roll ones on my good dice. By the way, the rapier is uh, D8. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, but... It's D8 oh. where it should be. I did amazingly at rolling ones. But you said roll 3D6. Never mind. I said wrong, but Vulcan understood correctly. Okay, yeah, good. that one. Good. Is it stopped shouting now? No, it, like, it, it got muffled a little when you pierced clearly like through the throat, but when you pulled it out, like, returned to its wailing. So it doesn't... Can you pull it out of the bag to see if it cares about being stabbed or not? It's still shouting. I mean, just temporarily, you know, just show it and then put it back. Is it, yeah, like, Laura just drops the I'm bag. I'm still a spider, I can talk. Laura just drops the bag, so, so make here. Uh, yes, uh, so she drops the bag, like here, if you want to stab it, go on, and uh, she starts casting a spell. Um, Zaya, web uh, recharges on a 5 or 6, so yes, you need to roll. Well, that doesn't say anything about that in the... Uh, well, use the stuff. monster manual and not an official um, uh, resource. Uh, just... Yes. So what, d6? On the start of your turn, you roll a d6, and on a 5 or 6, it recharges the ability. Well, it's recharged, clearly. Yes, now we'll pay closer attention. Um, so yeah, she casts a spell instead. Um, she casts a very simple spell because I'm out of ideas, and she does 18 damage to the thing. Like, yeah, you see... Yeah, she, she, summons, she conjures up some magic missiles, and they sail towards the target, and... Whack into it. Tearing up the flesh. Does some damage. Um, Alena is a little clueless, so she comes over to the head and bashes Smacks it. it. Damn right. Yeah, she like asks you, like, sh sh do you need help with this? Yes. Yes. It is. Oh, wait, ho 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 hold the fuck up. Right, so my sword, remember the sword? No. Nope. Yeah. Magical one. That was not radiant damage? No. Okay, She does... Smack it. Uh, and she has so little strength that it's literally... If she hits, these. then it's an auto crit, because the head yeah, can't do she, anything. She's rolling really badly. Like, really badly. But yeah, she does damage. Again, she's like still weakened by like the, the like, energy draining of the like shadows you faced. <coughs> So it's a little hard for her to do anything, and her magic has, like, worn off. Isn't it a crit, so she gets to do double damage? Yeah, she did double damage. What? Yeah. Yes. Dwastek, it's your turn. I guess we go stabby stabby. Stabby stabby crit. Nice crit. Slashy slashy, cut off its arm. It should be D10s, because I'm assuming... No, wait, you're holding it on one hand, so it's one-handed, yeah. This one. I have yes. another one for two-handed. <laughs> yes. That one would look like this. I think you should roll. Good thing you didn't use it two-handed. Thankfully. <laughs> it adds your uh, strength bonus to the crit and damage. It shouldn't. Uh... It's plus two because rage. Hello. 
You divided it funny. Why did you divide it like that? Something's you no, something is wrong here. What's your strength bonus? Is your strength like, like uh, eleven after those shadows? Plus uh, zero. Okay, right. You got drained. Yep. In which case, still, you only get one plus two because uh, crit only damage doubles the damage dice. It dub it doesn't double the damage as a whole. What? When Critical you... uh, double the dice is rolled. So you don't get the bonuses to critical. It's only a dice. Can only ever be a dice. Yes, all um, number bonuses just go to the, the normal damage roll. Uh, so, um, 11 boring. damage. No, more damage. 13 damage. Sure. No. Yes, because he rerolled. 6 plus 5. Oh, yeah, we reroll. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. but, wait, Zeke, doesn't Savage yeah. Attacks reroll? The entire hit? No, actually, he didn't reroll because this is two-handed. That, that was just yeah. him showing up, showing his, his macro yeah. for two-handed. So he didn't reroll. Oh, you have savage let, me, attacks, let me do though. the. Right? Oh, yeah, I can do the savage thing. Oh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna do that on. Uh... Slight confusion. We got this. Don't worry, it's fine. Hey, yeah, it's a D8. It can change. Just roll to D8. Yes. Alright, so we got. Six and a seven versus yeah, that's eight, four and uh, yeah, we do that. Versus Minus six and five, so, so thirteen plus two. You suddenly, do damage to the thing. Ah! My, my reference material fell. Oh no! Suddenly, the monster dies. The end. Well, monster loses any knowledge of what it can and can't do. I would do, like so to remind there. you that I also have reference material for Laura here. Oh, suddenly Laura that's dies, I'm dead. very sad. I don't believe that statement for a second. Yeah, you, so, you, uh, yeah, the, the body, like, flies, up, flies about. You see, like, some of the wounds, like, start closing up on it again. It's, like, regenerating all the damage you're doing. Not all of Come it, but on. parts of it. Wait, uh, yeah, I was like, all of it? I'm like, no, 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 that's, that's <laughs> not a revenant. Yes, you have to kill the kind of, turn. like, fucking <laughs> overlord <laughs> troll king. Like, this is, like... No, no, it regenerates just some of it. Just some of it. Die. Just die. And it goes to swing at Dwastak. No, uh, it's, wait, it's restrained. It's, it's restrained and blind. It's trying to not be restrained. It, what's the that's a 12, that? that's a bass. It's that's not a, restrained, it. but it's still blinded. Doesn't it have disadvantage on that because it's blinded? No, you don't need sight to break free. You just you have to do some muscling. Mm. Muscle bulging. Uh, I don't know. Maelstrom, it's your turn. Give me a d6 to see if your web recharges. It doesn't. Mm, well, fuck this shit. Um... Stab it. So she said, I, I don't really stab, I mean, uh, so she said not to use poison against it. Does that mean that poison would heal it? Poison will do uh, nothing against it. Okay, well, uh, that's fine actually. I'm just gonna bite it. It's a hit. Um, so you do 10 damage. I won't even bother checking the con. It's yes, the just. Ignore it, it. It doesn't do anything with the regard to. Um... Ooh, paralyzed. Yeah, except except it doesn't because it's not can be poisoned. Yeah, um, it can't be poisoned. Yes, it, it condition the condition is separate from damage, but it can't be paralyzed either. Okay, um, Ian, it's your turn. How tough is its head? It's a difficult question. It's pretty tough. Kind of can, like I, can I just jump on it and break it entirely? Mm. <laughs> I mean, you can that's try, that's but question. I would just call it an unarmed strike against against it. Just, just, just <laughs> keep stabbing it. That's probably for the better. Game doesn't make any sense anymore. Uh, right, it's well, a stab here. Maybe you leave the sword in it so you can heal. You know. Now, crap. I've got advantage. Yes. And yes, crit. Yes, you do. And a crit, yeah. No, I have to crit, don't I? Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go, plus nine. Nice. Twenty-eight. Uh, yeah. You, you, Come on. Like, stop through it. Has it stopped it. yet? No. It's still, like, shouting at Laura. <laughs> 
Fu tries to hit it. Just leave the sword in um, its mouth. So can, it I, can I take my short sword and hand it to Alina and say, here, use this? She doesn't have a weapon. She can take my short sword and oh, use that. Yeah, but maybe her, she has the, a club. The, the, like a big branch torn off from that. Well, if her tree. big branch was doing 2d4 damage on a crit, the short sword would do 2d6 damage. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, if she's she... taking my short sword. If she oh, has that's proficiency in short sword. Use it though, because yeah. isn't a short sword just like a simple melee weapon? Everyone well, doesn't you know. have simple. Everyone doesn't have simple. You know. Some classes have specific weapons. Ahem! Ahem! What is a short Actually, sword? Actually, a short sword is a martial melee weapon. It's not even well, a simple one. Can she make use of it? No idea. I mean, she can with extreme disadvantages. I mean, sure, go. Can she? Does she have... She does, like, does, have does, does, does she take the, the short sword when I offer it to her? Uh, yeah, she's a little confused about it, but she, like, grabs it. She's seeing you flinging it, swinging it, so she has a rough idea of how this works. What the fuck do you want me to do with it? Oh my god! I love the yeah, fact it's like, so she has a rough idea how this works, like, she's not proficient. She's actually holding it by the blade, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, she knows how to use it. Now, proficiency with a weapon allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll, or for any attack you yes, make with a weapon. Is she proficient with, with it or not? I think it's safe to say she has no idea how a sword is supposed to be swung. <laughs> oh my god. Never mind then. But a short sword relies more on like your speed and like just agility, more than like brute strength, of which yeah. she doesn't have much at all. More damage dice. She can use it. Right. Okay. I mean, I I haven't even thought about this fact. Uh, <sighs> considering you have a stationary head. Can you coup to grace the head? You, you don't, don't use like a stab coup like that. Coup de is not a mechanic in 5e. He can't? No. That's Can he answer. like do an action and impale it literally because it's, it's stationary? A, it's a thing in 4e. Yeah, but it's 5e here. Uh, yeah, you can keep hitting it, right? <laughs> No, but like, no, I'm saying, can he impale the head that is stationary on the ground? Like, That's what can he's he been doing like... this whole time. No, no, I, I don't mean like stab and stab and stab. I mean like literally like put the sword in and like keep like pushing it that's around inside I, it. The, the, like that's... make 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 the thing like a mixer essentially. Yeah, that's what brain. he's been doing this whole time. Just stab it in, it's move it walking. around, poke it, poke it in like, from a different angle, move it around. Sure, it's 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 uh, doing uh, damage. You can. Like, you can see that the, the body is, like, twitching every time the, the, the sword goes in and swings around. That's clearly pleasure. Clearly. Uh, she has no magic, she could use the sword. While Stab we it. have this discussion, Laura leans in and discharges some magic into the sack. Like, zaps, all, zaps it, so... <laughs> the, the, the head is, like, neck... <laughs> And then, yes. and then magic into the, the sack and wouldn't it do that if it hit twitchy. the body? What? I mean, at what stage of the neck was it decapitated? Because, like, are its vocal cords still attached <laughs> to its body? <laughs> really? I think I, I don't with, think, it does have its cords. I don't attached. think we should look too deep into that. <laughs> well, if its vocal cords are attached to its body, we can just remove them, and it can't talk. Right. right. So, um. <laughs> Alena tries to do what you did, which is a little bit harder with a broader blade. It's fine, she did eight like, damage. Pokes, pokes the sack, which is now having a bunch of holes in it. It's going to be pretty useless once you're done here. Yeah, I hope you didn't want your sack intact. <laughs> I didn't know where I got the sack from, I just pulled it out of my bag and was like, Ah, oh, a sack, that'll do. It's in oh, the background. That's what you get for carrying dirty bags around. Now somebody else is going to carry your money. It's like plinking coins on the ground. Dwarfstack, it's your turn. that. You never know when a sack might come in useful. Interrogations. True, true. true. We were trying to interrogate uh, the head, it just wasn't uh, going to cooperate. Gostek goes, stabby, stabby. No one could expect that, right? I mean, wow. I am surprised. Yeah, it goes stabby, stabby for nine damage. Maybe you should go stab the head. And, 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 and. And? We do not use that roll. 
And yeah, he's like, shove the sword straight into its gut, and you pull it out. It's like this gaping wound, it like closes on your eyes. And the thing goes swinging madly. Goes back to swinging madly. Drop highest plus seven hits. No, and uh, no. Yeah, yeah, you just take a step back, and the arms flail above you. Maelstrom, your web is yes. back. Um, I am going to web it again. You do. I do. Uh, Ian, it's your turn. And the recharge fails. You recharge yeah. at the beginning of your turn. Not yeah, well, it still turn. fails. No, you recharge at the beginning of your turn. You get that roll at the beginning of your next turn. Well, it doesn't matter if I roll it now or it then. Does it, matter. Still fails. it does matter because we remember it better than Ian. It's I'm turn. lazy. That's why I make micro because I'm lazy. Is this head well, struggling less? Habits. No, I mean it can't it. do anything. It's just shouting. Yeah, it's overtaken and this. Is it shouting less than it was and before? Rage. No, but if you glance at the body, the body itself is pretty badly battered at this point. Like many chunks of it have been carved off already. Even though it's still healing up. Okay, well let's continue stabbing it. I mean, this is the right way to kill something, right? Just keep stabbing its head. <laughs> It's a plan that works for most enemies. Cool. Here goes nothing. That's a hit. Oh, not another one. It is a hit, though. It doesn't make any difference. I'm still rolling ones. Oh, come on! Oh, damn. Yeah, you heard it. Yeah. Okay. So now it's Laura's turn. So she'll just discharge more magic into this thing. And that seems fitting, right? Mm. I won't have a bag left by the end of this. No, you won't. Don't know where I, I mean, got the bag from, but I assume it's part of standard ad adventuring kit to carry a uh, sack. It's part of your background. So, okay, so, uh, Ian, yeah, you slam the sword into this thing, and you must have, like, cut through the binding that ho was holding the pouch together. Because when you pull the sword out, uh, the sword is still, uh, the, the, the head is, like, still attached, right? And, like, you pull it out, and it's, like, facing, facing uh, Laura. And the eyes just immediately like, focus on her, God. and and the, the head just screams, "You!" And then you like shake it off, and the head drops down, and uh, like in a panic, she like football kicks it, and um... shit. No, she discharges some like she she still like casts her spell and uses her foot to uh, connect with with the corpse, and then like the head like gets flung up. And um, yeah, you, you hear like the, the zapping of energy, electricity, as the head like fl flies a bit into the air and then like explodes with like a shower of viscera, and the body suddenly like, stops, like drops to its drops to its knees, and then like falls into the icky white muck that the the spider has created, and uh, suddenly a dreadful silence falls over the your camp. <sighs> As the Revenant is defeated. There's a lot of heavy breathing. So... Why did it come after you? I have no idea. You must have done something to it. I've never met this man before. Never. Inside, inside, inside. Where's the fucking inside? <laughs> yeah. Uh, inside. One moment. Hurrah! I don't know. No idea. There we no, go. You, no, you Take don't. Take bullshit. Is it bullshit? <laughs> Dwastic, you're like trying to, you're like looking at the body, trying to see if it like starts regenerating again, like poking it with your with your sword. Uh, but Ian, you're like you're paying attention because you asked the question, right? Um, you don't. Yes. You don't pick up on any um bullshit here, as far as you can tell. As far as you're concerned, she's telling the truth. Damn, that's a good bluff check. <laughs> well... <laughs> and and uh, she says... As... Maybe you... You might not know, but... Dwostek might know. There, there's been a bounty on my head... Some months ago. Someone turned that in. That's a 
whatever. What? Maybe he was the. Like, that's what? my best. That's my best what? bet. That he was the. He, he was the, the the ringleader of the bounty hunting ring. And shrugs. But why he would come back as a revenant and be upset with me is beyond me. But you are a necromancer, it's right? Bad. Is she lying now? No, sure, let me reroll. Um, no, you're, you're, you're not aware of any lies here. Of any shenanigans here. She's I trying to be level swear she got really good fucking curse rolls here. <laughs> Web? Web well, well, you can set up work. like a lot of sticky shit. What do you mean? It doesn't work. You just go I'm into a spider. Combat. You just go into combat if you want to web something. Uh, I want to what? web the entire area and set up traps uh, and I mean, if she, cover if and shit. If he does a giant spider, he can literally become a giant spider if he wants Yeah, to I am a giant spider. spider. Yeah, so you well, can you web the whole fucking area. create a bunch of difficult terrain. Yes, I want to create difficult terrain all around the place and create some sort of tent of our area. You know, linking everything and putting so, webs all over the place. While you are having this serious conversation, in the background there's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, as, like, the spider just spewing goop everywhere. Hello. Yep, that's me. Just making traps and stuff, and you know, even even laying a, a wire. I'm gonna lay a, uh, a a web, a small filament of web all around the camp, and then when I change back, I'm going to tie some uh, something metallic that would make a sound. Your mess gets uh, like spread out. Yeah, yeah, I just want, you know, if if they, uh, like, uh, step on it, it would make a mm -hmm. sound and... Like a rudimentary alarm that's hard to Exactly, miss, and alarm, maybe yes. Maybe will catch, like, that's a beast or something. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, basically I'm just making lots of stuff in the background. So, yeah, back to the conversation we go. Um, yep. Yeah, you don't pick up on any lies from her. Hmm. But you are a necromancer, right? Hmm. W was? What do you mean, was? Well, this is a terrible answer, I know. But... Well, can I, can I at that moment just turn around and screech at her? <laughs> takes a step back and says, well, I once had a book that let me control undead but I lost it a long time ago so n no I'm not a necromancer now no hmm. I don't know much about wizards but the wizards forget spells Wizards specifically use spell books, right? And all... she hasn't got any books on her. No, um, Not there a are sorcerers which just have mm. natural talent for magic. So she don't forget the spell that easily. So she still know the spell. You should ask her instead of me. Ah, you're the DM. You know this stuff. She doesn't. <laughs> She doesn't well, know if she knows as, the spell. As That's far confusing. as you can tell, if if you once cast a spell, you should know it, unless you cast it from like a scroll or something, right? Or like a wizard, if they had like a different spell book first and then lost it some, so, somewhere, then I'll they lost that spell, right? If you've, if you've cast a spell once, how do you forget it? Within doing some sort of investigation into her wizarding abilities. Yeah. Well, it, I was. Because you haven't got it written down somewhere. No, it, they were in the book. They were like part of that book, and the book used me. F the book used me as a focus for the spells. That sounds. I'm sorry. That sounds really stupid. But that's that. That's the book what it used was. you. 
Yes. So what kind of book is this? Because as far as I know, books don't use people. Well, are you asking her or me? Her. Well, then why are you rolling? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know magic books. <laughs> but I figured I might. <laughs> don't roll without need, just roleplay. That's what I'm doing, I'm rolling. Roll, and roll play. play at the same time. Skip, skip, skip the rolling and it will be fine. Just uh, play, man. I'm playing. I mean, just play. There's, there's the rolling. How much do I know about magic books? Do you specifically know that they're books and they contain magic? Well, Great, there's wonderful. There's different kinds, right? Um, mm. For the most part, a, a magic book means that a, means a spell book of a wizard, right? Mm. But there are like ma actual magical books that contain Burner. something, Legends. some scripture. Wait, I, I actually just realized the thing. I just yeah. realized the thing. If she's an actual wizard, if we burn that book, she can't cast any more spells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the problem is... <laughs> yeah. Problem is, she doesn't need spell to order us around. Oh, I mean, at uh, least uh, so yeah, we think. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Actually, that that, that is a conversation I would have got to actually. <laughs> In character, I think I would go for burning your book because I don't know that. Sh I, I could think that uh, she's. Um... You're a spider. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, when I'm not a spider laying traps around, uh, I, in character, I'm starting to think that uh, she's controlling us by her spells. So I think I would actually go for burning her books. Hmm. You know, that well, was out the, of character. There is the one problem that you haven't seen any books in her possession. Are, are there are there rumors well, yeah. though, of of books so strong that they control the wielder? Um, now you give me an arcana check, and I might tell you if you roll that. I did. It's there. No, it's the old one. Give me, give me a new one. Now that <laughs> no. I asked about it, I want an arcana check. Oh dear. Um, you haven't <laughs> heard of you haven't Two heard of them. Of them. Look, but no, it's one. it's magic yeah. bullshit. Okay, it might have it might it might be a thing. It's like how are you supposed to know? Yeah, magic is just so fucking weird. Great. Yeah, I'm a spider. Never mind. Yes, you are a spider. <laughs> shrug, spider shrug again. So you you still have some skills with necromancy then, and controlling the undead. No, I don't. It was all the book. Now, now I which can book? Cast up... well, the book that was making me summon. What? A book that's not here. Doesn't matter what book it was. Oh wait, she might yes, be it like a fucking warlock because, you know... No wait, she does just... I've never mind. heard of any book being able to control a... It's, it's, it's wielder like that before. Which book? It, it, it was a book... I don't... It, I, the black lady gave it to me. Wait, 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 okay, 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 okay. No, what Does kind of book Dwostic it was? know about the Book of Shadows and all those fucking cursed ones? I have no idea as a DM what the Book of Shadows is, so okay, it's a bit mind. of a all difficult right, question. Right, book of Shadows? Never mind then. You don't mean Book of Vile Darkness that was mentioned? Nope. How about know. Sauron? Do we know anything about Sauron? Sauron? No, wrong universe? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean. Locate the ring. <laughs> it is a spell. So yeah, she, she doesn't know what kind of book it actually was, or at least so she says. Well, who gave it to you? The black lady. Right. What could this book do? Have any of us met the black lady? Or heard about her? I heard the character about has. My character's heard what? about it. What? Not all at once, please. Aren't you still a spider? I'm just asking you as a DM. Um, Even my spider knows some people, you know? Yes, um, I think it's safe to say that everyone has heard of the black lady. 
everyone that has been civilization within the last two decades. Um, how much exactly? Uh, give me a history check. As a spider, sure. Yeah, you, you hear things, you just can't contribute, right? <laughs> Everyone can roll, I mean. Oh, goody. Yeah, I don't know shit. I mean, it's, it's a figure that you know I from... I might know a bit more shit. <laughs> I live here, but... <laughs> <laughs> she's not... She's not the, the black lady is not from around here, like, right? The, people know it of this, like, woman, like lady right like clad in black that comes to steal unruly children that don't sleep at night right like that is the black lady to dwastic and to maelstrom right this what about to me boogeyman sort spider of spider shivering this boogeyman sort of character that's like used to like scare kids into submission to like go to bed at the right time uh, but ian you you have like spent some time with someone or somewhere um to, that you you know that it is not like actually just like a boogie man figure um but there is like a an element like a, a person behind that uh, name and it was a like mm, it was a how she pronouns are hard she was a powerful like spellcaster magic wielder person uh that uh was like critical to uh defeating the undead in the blight some 20 odd years ago Defeating the undead. Defeating the undead. Right. So how did you meet the black lady? I grew Jan up Morn in, asks Laura. I grew up in the village under her manor and I was her maid. Oh shit. Uh -oh, you're wrong. It, you do not detect bullshit. She seems sincere, like, throughout this entire conversation. Mm. So you were a servant of the Black Lady? Or at least was. What happened to her? She shrugs. I don't know. Last... We s last I saw her, she was fine. Still at her manor. She sent me off packing here with a spell. And then this happens. She gestures broadly. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do now. Sleep. I'm a spider, yeah. but I can't talk. I'm gesticulating as a spider for you to sleep. I mean, you can yeah, stop being a spider happening. when you want. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to stop being a spider, actually. Because <laughs> I have dark vision and webs and shit, and I don't want to stop until my watch... Well, until the one hour is... Depending on where we were in Are my the webs watch, comfy? Oh yes, Philly. I I'm a spider. I can't talk. You've been... I I nod. Yes, yeah, spider or nod. You've been here for like hour, maybe two, like in the middle of your watch right now. Well, then I'm gonna wait for we the. We should go back to sleep. Wild shape to expire. Yeah, and if then you're... continue my watch. Uh, if if you go back to sleep. Expanded your questions, then I think everyone here is tired. Mm -hmm. I'll get to sleep on a web because it's comfier than the ground. Oh, I. Can make you a, yes, a web bed. Mm -hmm. It's a bit Thank sticky, you. but yeah, it's it's a, a bit sticky. Whatever. I'm I'm trying to make it like less used sticky, to but it. it's not easy. Used to it. It's comfy, right. uh, more more comfy than the floor. That's that's true. That's very true. It's yeah. Be a very awkward wake up, but that's like a problem for another day. Yeah, you're gonna have gonna, gonna be all of full of webs when you. We, when we start That's tomorrow, but fine. Okay. It'll be a nice sleep, though. So. Okay. What? I can mm. sleep on webs. You can do of course, of course. Uh, okay. So, um, go to sleep. Actually, I make beds connected to the wire that I have going around the camp. So, if there is 
a contact with the wire. The yeah. bed we will start people, to shake. That people like shift their positions at night, so there will be a lot of rattling through. No, no, I, I'm gonna. Well, damn, that was that was a great plan, man. Come on, why? Are, why do you have I to do until this? You thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no connecting between the beds. Fine, Jesus. Yes. Yes. So, um, yeah. Mm. If that's it, uh, then morning comes, you're no longer disturbed. And I believe that somebody would like to know something about the sword they have been thinking about for a very long time. Give me the info. Um, yeah. should, I, should I have uh, been looking at my bottle, like, when I'm done? Um, can I can I also know something about it just in case there's something I don't know? Oh no, you 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 know everything about the the, the bottle. Okay, already. you have a full okay. description. Okay, so um, Dwostek, what you have here is um, the Blood Brothers Sword of Shielding. Wow. And um, if here. Um, I'll, I guess I'll read it, sure. So, you gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. I was tracking that separately, so you didn't know. Um, but now you know, it's a plus one magic sword. Magic long sword. Uh, and uh, once you attune to it, of, and for that you need another rest, because you've spent this time identifying it. So you need another rest to... Uh, but you said it took like a rest to attune with a weapon. Like no, what? you took a long you, you took a long rest, and you took that long rest to identify it. If you want to attune with the weapon, you need to make us you need to make another rest. Ah, uh. yes. So once you attune to it, um, this weapon has like four charges, right? In in the case of your sword, um, you can see that they have there's like engravings on on the blade, on the white side of the blade, and uh, you get Ian over to like read them for you. And uh, they say, in, in Elvish, they say just four words. Blood shed, blood shield. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this weapon has these four charges. And while you're attuned to the weapon and hit a creature with it, you expend one charge and roll 1d4 extra damage. So one, extra 1d4 slashing. Um, blood spilled by the target springs to life and surrounds you in a protective barrier. You gain temporary hit points equal to the bonus damage dealt. Uh, the barrier uh, dissipates when you take damage higher or equal to your temporary hit points, or after one minute. So it's what did you say it was called? The Blood Brothers Weapon of Shielding. Weapon of Shielding. Uh, in this That's case, Long Sword of Shielding. Um, TM, yes. <laughs> Uh, hitting a creature and spending another charge increases your temporary hit points by the amount of damage dealt and refreshes the barrier's lifespan, so you just add more blood to it. And the weapon regains 1d4 expended charges daily at dawn. So essentially, whenever you hit someone with it and they bleed... Oh yeah, it, I didn't add the bit. It doesn't work on undead on, or constructs, that's why you didn't get uh, that and attunement. Is why you wouldn't get anything from um, these monsters here. But demons work. Right, demons so... Work. I guess I got four charges then, because this thing has been here for eons. Yeah, it's charged, and you need to attune to it to get the benefit. But yeah, once you attune to it and hit something and it bleeds, you will get like this shield of blood around you that negates some of the damage. Yep. I'll give it in a second, but I need to edit this bit, because it's slightly... Um, I need to add a bit that says it doesn't do anything against... Um, um, this has no effect against creatures that can't bleed. <laughs> give macro, give macro. Uh, that is not. Well, in the meantime, I wanted to ask uh, Dostek if he wants my shield. For now. I do want your shield very, very much so. <laughs> there you go. Just Don't you have a character sheet for this sort of shit? Yes. I mean, Z. Like, yeah, put it on your character sheet. What? Where would I put this? On your in your what? character sheet in your inventory. Yeah, but the inventory does not have text for this. Like, 
That's bullshit. I'll make a micro. Roll. I'll add a handout into uh, this campaign file, but yolo. Um, okay, I added like a whole section here in the. You can you really can do it in before. like class for anyway, example. I, I, I have it now. Anyway, it's fine. Whatever. I added a handout. Need magic. Too late. Items I made a thing. I made a note. Fuck you. Too late. But it will go away after the campaign is finished. For you shouldn't for make micros for us. Fine. I'm not gonna use. Well, it's just D4 text? whenever I shoot. Yes! No, uh, when no. you hit, when you hit a creature. You choose Wait, to I hit. can't choose when I activate this? Yeah, you choose to hit. No, 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 don't I choose to activate ability? No, it activates on its own. Oh, that's... It's slightly weaker in that way, yes, but it's still... Oh, you can choose much weaker. I can't choose when I use the super cool damage abilities and like... I'm basically like, if I face a rat before the real encounter, then I'm gonna be out of charges, and they're charged like once a day. It's not like all charges. Well, just so... don't hit it with a longsword. Yeah, yeah just hit it with your other weapon. He's got a point. <laughs> okay, uh, that was one thing. The other one is I wanted to ask Laura where the Black Lady's Manor is. Oh, yeah, it's the morning. Yes, it is morning. Uh... Good morning. Oh, hello. <laughs> How do you do? Fantastic. Well, it's nowhere near this place, I'm afraid. <sighs> it's on the other side of the Titan's Foot Mountains. Like, Never close. heard of it. It's like in the center of the kingdom, like the big mountain range that like is in the center of the king of the lands of this kingdom I... that you're in. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. Sure. I I come from the north. So I've never really you know been anywhere. It's... Well, Geography know... is never my thing anyway. Well, do you know where Torfane is? No. Then let's go with the Black Lady's Manor is very far away from here. Okay. I mean, if you give me the distance, I can understand that. Weeks. Oh. Well, then that is very far away, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Well... Suppose we won't be going there then. Do you know a spell to summon her here? Not directly, and no. Can you not ask her to come find you? Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. If she's that powerful, magic maybe she can stuff. find us. Yeah, magic. I mean, if if like she can help us fight these demons, right? She, she call oh, for her help. Su summon summon her here. Probably yeah, don't could, you have? But I don't. Don't you have a, 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 a way to give her a message? No. Yeah. I don't. No. I don't. No. Do you know anyone that does? Hmm. The wizard at the tower we couldn't access because the portal was broken. There's nobody else around here that could. Damn. You guys really have to work on your instant messaging. Yeah. You want to talk? What? I live anything. alone, I don't have any friends, I don't need instant messaging. I've well, been fine so far. Well, if you're far from people, don't you think you need to be able to contact someone far away even more? Well, no, because I don't know anyone. So I don't have anyone to contact, so that's well, not a problem for me. Well, well there's your problem. You're too, well, you're too much of a hermit. Uh, I mean, that's not what I said, you know. That's what it sounds like, Mr. No Friends. Well, that is very helpful. I feel like that was uncalled for. Fuck. Hey, you brought this up first. No, yes. Look, that's not the point. Can we get going? Yes, I think so. Shall we? Sure. So, your plan, party? Is to keep oh, going north. By the way, watch out for the webs all around. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 Do I know of any instant messaging what? services in the kingdom? I don't think that there's any. Can't remember if there was any that would still be in service to use to contact the black lady. Uh, chance we can look her up in a directory, right? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> just check the phone book, totally. Uh -huh. Yeah, just stop by the naked phone booth. And yeah, we'll, we'll find 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 a wizard who's hooked up to this. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of them. Strange magic stuff, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Mm. Just you know, call Magical Uber and they will, like, pick you up totally. Yeah. You should, you should try that sometime. Tried and failed. Mm, totally, <laughs> you know? The number you are dialing is out of uh, coverage area. <laughs> Please yeah, I all the time. Now, right. Uh, <laughs> for the rest of you guys, remember to do it as well. Yes, hello, what's up? What? All your stats, the things yeah. drain stats. Yes, uh, the <clears throat> magic of the shadowy thing. Do my hit points or also heal up? Yes, your yeah. strength. Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Is back to whatever it was, and your health is back to max, and you recover half your hit dice. Uh, more importantly, XP. How much? I'm sorry, you want what? Experience! Excuse me, excuse you, sir. I don't think you... I lost the key. I killed a lot. Shadows, Revenant, Hold Special... Actually, I think you told me last time what we... Add? Fantastic. Because Wait, Bird Brain know. doesn't get the X Shadows the Revenant, but he gets other shit. You need to inform him about that. Uh, eight yeah. shadows and one ghost are three hundred and eighty XP each. Um yeah, he don't knows add that, don't add that, that, don't add that. I got this written down. Wow. I'll add the I'll add up everything you guys got and um No, I'm... I want a detailed analysis. I will of break it creature. down. Just don't add it so that we don't confuse numbers later. I will tell you what to do. Once I get this. So, you explored Same. this Starward Flagon, and I gave you 700 experience for that. Uh, the eight shadows you were did. indeed 800 experience, 100 each. The ghost was 1100, even though you destroyed it in no time. Um, escaping the Starward Flagon deserves, uh, an, uh, deserves some experience as well. And I think you should get 1100 experience, split between you guys. Uh, wait, this already gets confusing. So. Uh, let's see. Just Type a calculator. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write number. It down. Yes, yes, no, yes. No. I ha no, I have it written down in the text file, but I got to the point where we split it uh, four or five one way. So it gets confusing. So you get. Um, you st we split the first batch of experience five ways because everyone participated. Make a nice spreadsheet. Spreadsheet for life. Uh, 1900. And. You get 700 for the Stalwart Flagon, and we split them, how many are you? There's four characters plus Laura, so we split it five ways. So, uh, let's start with, that's not it. You st let's start with, everyone gets 520 experience for the first bit of the journey. Uh, that's, what? Mm -hmm. But what's first bit? What? Killing the shadows. Let me. Th you get this for the beginning. Then you escape the stalwart flagon, and you kill the revenant. And we s you split this part of the experience four ways instead of five ways, because Hubert is Hubert's no longer with gone. you. Uh, God rest his soul. So you split this four ways. He's not dead. In his soul is in his body. Right. Uh, you get seven hundred and twenty-five experience. For escaping the Starward Flagon and defeating the Revenant. Wait, what's the total XP? So combined, you get 1245 experience. That's what you should add. I feel like that's not detailed enough. Well, I told you specifically what you gave, got everything for. <laughs> So uh, I don't know I don't what else you want. No special quest XP? Oh, you got it for doing the things. I want you to fill uh, that out for me. Look, man, whatever it is, I'm not even <laughs> going to click on that. Yes, you are. You know you are. You're just tempted now I to see what it is. strong and... No, I'm not. <laughs> he clicked it. See? No, no, I did it. I clicked on OBS to check if I'm on the right scene. Um... Yes, um, party. This is the point where we can either uh, stop 
and meet up with Body tomorrow? We can't. He's with the demons. Well, yeah, but... Um... <laughs> yeah, he's right, we can't. You are, he is with demons, but you are going to be moving kind of alongside each other, right? He's going to be chasing us. Yes. Bringing his new demon buddies with him. Buddies? I think it's Buddy Singular. His succubus girlfriend, yes. I mean, are, are, are you asking the party that has no idea what happened? I'm asking the players. Wait? I'm asking the players. No, he's asking us, the are, players, are of course. Are we continuing this? It's not up to us, is it? It's up to you. You know what? It's, um, it's up to him. I came to the conclusion that yes, we should stop here and pick it up tomorrow. Because That's a bad conclusion. It's a... <sighs> <laughs> It's up to you. <laughs> like, yeah, I've come to the conclusion that no, that's a bad conclusion. No, because like, <laughs> what I mean, the next encounter is there's like a big chance that body's gonna be involved, right? So I never, it's probably uh, best if he's here. It's not gonna be involved if we keep running away from him. I mean, I, yeah. I never said we couldn't influence his decision. You know, I just said it's up to him. See, this is when we need the instant messaging service to tell him to stay wait, away. Wait, I have a question here. Why does like, why do we have three bars now? I modified the bars. That's a good question. Um, they show you how many Jesus. miles you have with each uh, pace now. So you can go thirty miles fast pace, twenty-four normal pace, and eighteen uh, at slow pace per day. Oh, isn't it tough? Okay, but the eighteen says eighteen out of sixteen, so that's bad. Yes, but it should be 18 out of 18. Well, then fix it. They are fixed. Picky person. Yes, fill my spreadsheet for me, please. We're no. moving along a road, right? Then, then we get double speed if we rush it, don't we? No, we don't get double speed. You just you get half speed if you're not on the road because of the difficult terrain around it. I mean, it's such everywhere on the road, off the road. There's not much of a difference, is there? No, the, the road itself will let you move at the four miles per hour, just fine. Or rather, uh, you make your make. It's a road of ash. Away. It's just ash. Yes, but it's a path in between the trees rather than just cl clutching through. Oh, you mean the burn thicket. trees everywhere? Where were we going again? I have no idea. I have or no idea either. Somewhere. Like, it's supposed to be going north in search of something. Laura, what? I remember where are we this northern map. This shit goes north, way north. So I don't really know. I think last time I went north in this map, it took like two weeks. Yeah, so, like basically last time when we um, went north, I remember the map. Like so, it's way up north, and in the end up here, it's still like no civilization, and it's like. Oh yeah, if you wanna go like find civilization, it's like two months to north more. Of like, course, oh, Maelstrom okay. doesn't know that, which is why I was asking about where the, the Black Lady's Manor is, because I would either go there... Which direction was the Black Lady's Manor? No idea. Southwest. Southwest, southwest but isn't that supposed to be in the center of the kingdom? Yes, you're in the northeastern reaches right now. According That's... to the map, we're on the south middle. Yeah, we should have gone there. Of the map. What do you mean of this part of the map? Of this there's, part of the world, there's, whatever. There's multiple parts of the world? Well, the world map is not that detailed as you can see. Oh shit, we're on a different um, guys. Well, you know. Can we find a city with a port and we'll take a ship to the next continent? It's a a city. A, a city in Destroyer's world. I mean, are you crazy? <laughs> One problem at a time, right? Um. <laughs> Find a city with a port. We'll get a boat, and we'll go to the other city. We'll go to the other world and find this person. You're fast, literally fast trying travel. to find a miracle at this point. That's the chance fast of us travel. finding a city. Fast travel. I'm pretty sure you have to craft a fast travel kit to fast travel. <laughs> we got a it's wizard. A seventh level spell, okay. Damn. Is it Laura level seven? <laughs> yeah, teleport is level seven. Well, that's fine. You well, there you go. The What's the problem? Yeah, she should have teleport. Problem solved. Well, if you were paying close attention, you would have noticed that her spells cap out at level 5. Well, if I was paying no. close attention, I would have burned her book. <laughs> she doesn't have. But, uh, okay, to wrap back Burn to... Burn um, everything. To wrap back to uh, the current situation, um, to your question of where you're going, she says... I know as much as you do. This prophecy just so said nothing. go north. 
Oh god. Yeah, we should I just go. Rivers nearby. I want a boat. I, I... Have you seen the last body of water? That... The, the the last place that was supposed to have a body of water was the lake we were at, and it's empty. I. I mean, I would like a boat as well, but there are no more water at this point. Well, yes, yeah. there is a river to the east, but you, well, saw the lake that the river is falling into it. Right. Did we see the, if the river was still flowing into the lake? Like you any saw, water you, coming no, you, out you, of you, the river? You didn't go that far north to see that. You were still, like, kind of far into the lake, looking into the ah. lake. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it then. I'm just saying. We should go through the Black Lady's Manor, but it's too late. Sucks. Mm. I wish you had told us that before. I would have made a different choice. Going north was not a good idea. Okay. I Yes, as a DM, I, that's the best answer I can give. <laughs> well, you know, I mean that was technically that was technically in character that I said that. Yeah, but you kind of implied that she wasn't part of the conversation. Oh no, it? no, she was totally part of the conversation because she just told us about the black lady. Oh, okay, so yes, yeah, just now. So she says it's weeks away. Yes, and so is. Probably what's in the north. We don't know how long, so it's probably not any better. But at least it's not going to be in the direction where the demons are probably going. Well, uh, are you saying you know that the demons are going to the Black Lady's Manor? I know that there is a pathway, that's probably the best way to put it, a pathway to the Nine Hells very far north. So uh, why would we go there? Here, yeah, why would we go there? That's suicidal. If we wanted to go there, we'd just turn around and say hi to the demons. Yeah, yeah. But they're not... It's... They from different when set of hells? When I say it's very far away, I mean it. It's beyond, like, frozen west wastelands. When, when I said I am not qualified to fight demons, I mean it. Undead, sure, that's my specialty, but demons? Hell no! That takes a whole different degree. Well, yes, that's I'm fine. That. I would like to remind you that we are running away from demons, and one of <clears throat> you, one of us sacrificed yeah. themselves to, to, to give us some time to, to get to where we are now. Well... Maybe he wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself if we had not gone north without need. <sighs> Look, we... It seemed like a good idea at the time, right? Uh, no, went... it, no, I, I never... No, I always said north was a bad idea, I'm sorry. We went from one chunk of life to another in this... Life? What life? Look, it's dead all around. Well, the forest wasn't. And then uh, she wasn't either, and then you killed it. Well, first she of all, at, no. Look, I'm sorry, but... I know nature. And I have to say, he did the right thing. I know, I know, killing. it's... Well, yes. Sometimes you need Ars Archmajor, you know. It's, it's, it's... You can't just stand idly by and let life take its course. Sometimes you need to step in. And kill. And do what it is necessary to prevent further destruction. By causing destruction yourself, ourselves. No, I, I... it's it's yes. There is no other way to say it, but yes. No. I'm... This this is what this is. Look, what we have to do. I'm to sorry, make it right. but I can't agree with that. It it's it's wrong to kill someone. Well. 
Well, can we just go? This doesn't. We are doesn't going. Matter. We are walking as we speak, because we like to multitask. That's not the conclusion I came to. Well, I did. Was this consulted I mean, with the rest of the party? Party, where are you going? We are walking north. Okay, this is an important question. What's your pace? Oh, uh, we're going fast. We're being chased by demons. Like, hello, world is ending. I mean, like, are, are we gonna like chill and like, you know, sit down and be like, yeah, let's take a chill. Look, just take all you build well, usually the ones setting the pace. So I'm just at this point. Well, no, Following. this, is, this I mean, is a serious question, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm we're keeping a going... fucking fast pace. Like we're, we're we're trying to get away from the demon bullshit in the south. Like we're we're going as fast as we can, right? Okay then. All right. So do the. I mean, we're not we're not rushing to the point of like exhausting ourselves, but you but know, that, we're, that's we're what the fast, fast pace is, right? Oh. Yeah. You're you're, you're uh, sacrificing uh, like. You're, you're, yeah, you're going. No, you're not getting extra exhaustion, but you're going extra fast and like foregoing any like sort of safety measures and yes, we are doing that and doing like that. shortening your yes. rests to get more distance. No, no, a normal pace that doesn't strain you in any meaningful way is the twenty-four miles per day. I don't want exhaustion. Well, does it really do exhaustion? No, it do doesn't like... do exhaustion. It, oh, it, it just that. tires right. you. It it tires you out faster, but you don't get levels of exhaustion. I don't get it. What do you mean, tires out? Wait, we still have the same distance, is that what you're saying, or what? No, I like, don't get it. Uh, okay. I, this is extremely confusing, and I you, really don't get it. Uh, I'm mixing up uh, two things here. You By can... faster, do you mean time-wise? Yes. But we do travel longer. Yes, you travel, you travel, uh, that, you travel that's fine, faster, right? we, yeah. but I, you I can't travel as long, ass. right? Yes, but do we travel further? Yeah, we, yes. we talk about the long distance here. What, what's fastest? So can we travel distance? further the than normal? Fast without... pace, fast pace that you cover the most ground at the cost of being more prone to like ambushes. Yeah, mechanically yeah, that's speaking. It. Yes, yes. Well, we're totally gonna get an ambush. So um, I mean, we might as well go well, for it and get the I ambush mean, as soon like, as possible. I'm gonna level let's, up. Let's put it this way, right? We haven't been ambushed yet, and the demons haven't shown any signs of being like ambush yep. types, really. So, I mean, let let's sprint it. If there's an ambush, it's an ambush. But like, we should go be, back for you. Let, let, let's be fair here. It's all fucking ash. It's not really like a place where you can like hide in a bush, so to speak. So you can hide in the ash so, and roll in the ash. Like, ash and look, in this kind of terrain. I'm nice. invisible. You can't see me. I'm in the ash. Here's the best part, right? We're moving faster speed, but we're getting exhausted faster, which implies that we can spend more time just sitting on our asses and actually travel during daylight. I so... really have no idea what you're going on about. It's, uh, this travel system is extremely confusing and illogical. Yeah, I, I know, but like it's the, the anyway. So right, we're, we're traveling yeah. as fast as we can. Yeah. That's the Same point of the whole of how fast we go. Yeah, the the farthest you can get is by tra by traveling your in, in a fast pace, right? Period. Like you, the, this, the drawback here is that you are more, you have less passive perceptions. So you're more likely to miss an ambush. The probability of an ambush happening to us is going to happen regardless of how fast we go. Therefore, yeah, we might as well go as fast as possible. It's not about the ambush happening. It's about you walking into it versus you seeing it ahead of time. Well, they're and behind us, so problem solved. Let's run. You know, go, go. Is it the whole point of an ambush that you don't see it ahead of time? <laughs> Good question. Well, yes, Maybe if they're bad at ambush. Because if you, you can... saw an ambush ahead of time, it wouldn't be an ambush. Yeah, but if you have attack. enough perception, you can notice it first. Well, perception is yeah, good. but we're not going to be walking along taking perception checks. Alright, so we're up in the corner, but it's 30. I mean, 20. Oh my god, what oh god. are these? Hell yeah. Nice waypoints, buddy. Yeah, anyway, it's 28 movement here, so we have two yeah. more. Um, Where's the nearest town? Um. <laughs> nope. Well... No, we're not going there. Nope, Hold nope. On. Oh, the no, nearest, you didn't ask. The nearest uh, town yeah. is you can you can still sort of make out the orange glow where the Hellgate is. That's the nearest town. Yeah, forget, we forget where you asked. Let me uncover the way, the way north. If anyone wishes to follow, leave the token behind and let's go on a trip. Oh dear. Fuck this path. It's not funny. What do you mean, leave yeah, a token I've behind? I've been there. It's wigs and wigs. 
You know, I wish I wish Milestrom actually knew that because now it's just weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of fucking walking at this point. I mean, you, you should really, like, if, if we are just traveling along the road, right, and there's nothing happening except random encounters, do it like, uh, you know, um, what should I call it, space? Uh, Salos does, like, yeah, if you want to complete this trip, it's going to take, like, you know, four days and, like, yeah. Right, so like, who's watch this day and this day, and then like, you just roll for shit. Oh, just do it that's quickly. That's quite a lot buddy. of pat thoughts. Buddy. Yeah. Have some faith in what I prepared. Yeah. Swift death or slow death? What the fuck? Well, at this point, it's slow death because you're running away from the swift one. Okay, um, so the ball went. Uh, there's a problem, guys. There's a oh, problem. Oh, fucking hell. What I'm is fine. the problem? Do we just walk into an ambush? No, the problem I is did. the problem is that Hubert is elsewhere. Yes. Do you think we're gonna wait for the bird while we're being hit by demons? <laughs> yes. I, mean, I don't, no, I don't no, know yes. what I'm thinking. Wait no. for him. That was unconscious, has had his interrogation shit passed out, like reawoken. Wait for him. Passed out again and shit. Like, you think we're gonna wait no. for that shit? No, 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 we're no you're not it. waiting no. for him. The thing is, if he goes too far away from Laura, he explodes. Yeah, well, we assume he's moving towards us, right? He's moving towards us. Oh, so. that's, my, that's my point. I need, I need to figure out when he meets you, because he might, like, travel extra. He meets us? He's going faster than us? He'll so, get exhausted first. Yeah. So, so he I have catch this us. question, right? Because you're all D&D &D or some bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. So, like... As in, you won't be counting the days. This list here? Which name would fit the best to the avatar thingy of my thing in... Roll 20 what? right now. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm trying to think of a name to the dragon one. I can't fucking think of one. Okay, Dave. pause, 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 pause. Um, <laughs> what is he saying? Pause. Let's finish session here. Let's carry on tomorrow. Because tomorrow, body will be here and we, we will meet up in like. A oh, yeah, isn't that what we're doing right now? We are finishing, right? I mean, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. We'll, yeah. We call this yeah. here and uh, we'll see what body, what body what does. What day is and it? We'll I mean, that's why I'm asking. Like, catch I'm everyone thinking. down. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we'll carry on tomorrow. Uh, for now, thank you for playing. Let's figure out this name problem, and we'll see about it next. I need to finish yes. the recording at some point, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah we'll stop the recording. Finish all the right, recording. Right. Oh, by the way, for all the audiences watching the DD's awesome stream... Penis this penis one penis. guy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>